Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to test out this sultry eyeshadow palette from Anastasia. It's a brand new one and I have some mixed feelings about it, which I'll tell you about in just a few moments. But first on the outside, it's an absolutely lovely palette and it's all over YouTube. So I did want to try it out for you. But first, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, whether that's anti-aging hair, makeup, or skincare, then I hope you'll click that little bell that just will notify you of my future videos. Okay, I'm really excited to show you this eye makeup look that I created with this palette. So let me take off most of this makeup and we'll get started. Okay, now I'm up close and personal and I'm going to start with a little of this eyeshadow primer. It's the Milani primer and it's very inexpensive and it is an absolutely fabulous little primer. You use almost none of it. In fact, that is about the amount that I use for both of my eyelids and it lasts forever. And I think it's about $5 to $6. Very, very reasonable in price. And it really helps the eyeshadow stay on your lids. It actually helps the colors stay more vivid and it helps the colors last longer. So there are all those colors and they're absolutely beautiful. Here are some neutrals over here, a wonderful gold there. There are shimmers for your lid. In fact, four of them along the top and a couple of them down here. Because this is a quote, sultry palette, I'm sure they really went a little heavier on the shimmers. However, they are very wearable shades, not anything too glittery. There is this wonderful little transition color here. And this is a very, very dark brown, which could be used as an eyeliner there. And this little color bloom, we're going to use that as a halo over this twig. Okay, let's go ahead and start with this little color called Fresh here in the corner. And we're just going to use that on the eyebrows, right underneath the brows. There we go. It went on a little bit better on this side than this side. We'll go ahead and add a little more over here. There we go. I also like to use this in the inner corner just to brighten up that darkness. For the eyelid color, let's go in with this little pearl color. I like that. I really like a nice kind of an off-whitey kind of a cream color for the lids. And that's going on very nicely pigmented. I really like that. Now we'll go in on the other side here again with that lighter color. This one is called Pearl, which kind of makes sense because it's kind of an off-white creamy colored shimmer. Now I'm going to go in with this brown color called Twig, tap off the brush, and let's see if this works. Earlier in the week, I was using this color and it got everywhere. Talk about fallout. I was very, very disappointed in this. And so I'm hoping if I keep my fingers here, it won't be so bad. But that was something I was disappointed in for sure. Then I'll go ahead and dip in again on the other side. I'll try it without my finger under there so you can see maybe what it did for me earlier in the week and what it did was horrible. I had brown speckled eyeshadow all over my upper cheek. It's not too bad this time, but as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but it is really, yeah, it is really falling all over my upper cheeks. And there it goes. I'll put a little more on there. It is really not as bad as it was earlier in the week. I don't know why. It's decided to be a little nicer on camera. But as you can see, it really did have some fallout there. There we go. And look at this over here. It was terrible earlier in the week. Absolutely terrible. Like almost unusable. There was so much fallout. And I have to say, because of that fallout, this is not my favorite palette. So let me fix that up again. There we go. It doesn't take too much to fix it, but it's a little disappointing in such an expensive eyeshadow palette. Okay, now let's go back into that palette and I'm going to use a touch of this twig underneath my eyes. Oh my, it really did cause problems. It's a nice under eye shadow. Then I'll just go ahead and take a little more of that twig and put it in the outer V. Do that a little on the other side.
Happy eyes, as my grandmother used to say. Now to give a little bit of drama, I'm going to go in with this bloom color, tap it off, and just give myself a little halo. Just a little halo there. I really don't favor these reddish orange colors too much, so I try to go really light on them. But apparently these orangey colors are really good for blue eyes, for emphasizing blue eyes. Get in there in that fat pad area, just to make that sink in a little more. Now I'll go in and blend out the edges of that with my MAC 217 blending brush. And I'll just go ahead and soften those edges on both sides. And then off camera, I'm going to go ahead and apply my mascara and eyeliner. Okay, I finished with my eyes. And for eyeliner, I use this Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen in Brown. Love this, very, very easy to apply. And for my mascara, I use the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Mascara. Really like this one. It's nice and dark. It lengthens and thickens. And to add a little extra sparkle under my eyes, I use this Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter. And I just use it in the waterline here. And I'll show you how that looks. And there it is on that eye. And I'll put it on this eye. So that's how that looks. Now let's get into some blush. And for blush, I'm going to be using this Ulta Velvet Blush in the color Honey Bunny, which is a very natural color. So I'll go ahead and take a little bit of that. And I just go under the cheekbone there. Try to stay above the nose so you don't drag your cheekbones down. Okay, I really do like this blush. It's not very expensive, and you really can't put too much of it on. It blends out just beautifully. Now, to define my cheekbones and my under jaw area, I'm going to be going into this Volume 2 Kevin Aquan Highlighting Palette, and I'll just dip into this sculpting powder. I'll just do a little bit right there, about the top half of that cheekbone underneath. You don't want to come any lower because then it looks like you have dirty chocolate bars on your face, which is not good. And then just use your hands to kind of blend that in. Let's check. Make sure that looks okay. Sometimes our hands are the absolute best tool we can use. Then we're just going to take that dark powder along the jawbone, just to emphasize that jaw. Then we're going to go under the chin and a little bit down on that neck so it looks like your perfect chin is casting the perfect shadow. So there's the contour. Now let's go into some highlighter. And I absolutely love this Kevin Aquan Candlelight Powder. It's really one of those iconic powders. A lot of people love it. And you can see I've used a lot of it. I'm just going to take it along the top of the cheekbone just to give a little bit of glow. We'll do the same over here. Then down the bridge of the nose, about halfway down. And I think just for fun, I'm going to go right here on the balls of the cheek. <laughs> I don't know if they call them balls. But anyway, just gives a little bit of a nice glow. Now, since I have a rather dramatic eye, I'm going to go in with a very neutral lip color. This is the Physician's Formula Healthy Lip Formulation in the color All Natural Nude. And I will tell you, I think my natural lips are getting a little bigger, and I have a secret for that, and I'm not going to tell you now, but I hope that you'll subscribe if you're interested in learning how to plump up your lips, because for the first time in like the year and a half I've been on YouTube, I really feel I found something that works. But it's a secret. So there is All Natural Nude. So that was a look at the Sultry Eyeshadow Palette by Anastasia. And there it is one last time. Very pretty colors, but really I think the fallout from it is just terrible. If you don't like fallout, you're really not going to like this palette. I was a little bit disappointed in that. Now I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and I've been using a new card deck. This is called The Language of Letting Go by Melody Beatty. And I'll go ahead and choose one of them. And as you can see, we have a whole lot in our future. Let's see. Here's one. Ooh, releasing fear, releasing fear. I like that. Today I will ask God to help me let go of my need to be afraid. My need to be afraid, I like that. 
I welcome peace, trust, acceptance, and safety into my life. I will make a point of listening to my healthy, rational fears and will relinquish all others. Friends, I absolutely love this card because really releasing fear in this world is so important. And looking back at my first half for many, many years, I had a lot of different fears and most of them never came to pass. So friends, just for today, let's do what this card says. Let's make it a point to listen to our healthy, rational fears and to relinquish all the others. Because when we do that, we can have an even better second half. Take care. See you next time.